Hey everyone, happy day eight. I'll just wait a few minutes for some people to jump on here. And while we're waiting, I'll introduce myself. I am Carrie Brewster, also known as Casey Paleo Girl on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> I almost forgot my social platforms for a moment. Um, and on here and Twitter, I'm at Carrie Brewster. I am a 21-day sugar detox certified coach. I am also a Czech certified level one holistic life coach as well. I live in the Kansas City, Missouri area, and I decided to do this challenge kind of as a personal tool for myself after realizing that I needed a, a bit more gratitude in my own life. So as you come in, if you will introduce yourself and tell me where you're watching from, that would be awesome. And if you're on the replay, if you appreciate what you're seeing, if you would tap the screen for me and let me know with your hearts that this is something that you find valuable, that would be awesome. And I'm going to wait just a few minutes for our regular participants to hop on here and then we will get started. And in case you were wondering, this is my ULA Goals surfboard. And if you turn it this way, you can see, oops, sorry, it says infused on it. And you'll see there's different colors. It says ULA Fun, Finance, Field, another Finance, Faith, another Field, and Fitness. These are. Um, I guess let's see, one, two, three, four, five of the seven F's of ULA. The two that aren't on there are friends and let me see, I'm not sure what the other one is. Finance, field, oh, no, fun is on there. Hmm, well, which one am I forgetting? Oh, family. Family. That's the one that's not on there. I do have family goals, and I also have um, friends goals, but they're not my big seven, if that makes sense. You'll understand it if you've ever been to Ula Palooza. So, I'm just going to wait a few more minutes, and then... Oh. And we're going to see who kind of hops on, and we'll get started from there. I hope everybody's having a great night. It's freaking beautiful here. It's, it was about 75. Hi, Kim. It's about 75 degrees. Perfect fall weather. The trees are just starting to get those brilliant yellows and reds around here. We don't really have a lot of orange, but lots of brilliant colors and the yellows and the reds. And we have like a 75-year-old oak tree, so that puppy is, uh, is shedding leaves like a dog in summer. So... <laughs> So it's going to keep us quite busy, but you know, it's an easy way to get your fitness in, right? So I'm um, going to wait just a little bit longer for some people to hop in here and then we'll get started. But but yeah, this weather though, I don't know if you can, you know, if you're not used to hearing my voice, you probably won't recognize it, but I'm pretty, uh, my sinuses are going. <laughs> so I've been taking in a lot of, for sure, <laughs> for sure, Kim. Um, I actually don't have that as a goal because my two main categories are family and, ooh, see what, family and friend, no, not family and friends, family and field, which is like my purpose, like what I'm driven towards. Those are things I actually don't need to work on, which is why those aren't on there. But, um, but yeah, uh, it's this time of year, it kind of gets... It's a little yucky for the sinuses, so I um, take in a lot of turmeric and a lot of um, anti-inflammatory herbs and oils so that I can reduce my systemic inflammation. I try to lay off of, I mean, dairy is another one. I know it gives some people um, breakouts, but for me, it's congestion every single time, and I... Oh, Kim. Oh, do it. So do it. Just go in there and ramble and talk to yourself if you have to. It's, it, I was the exact same way. I was like, oh, I can't do a scope. I'm not good. But it's so much fun. 
especially when people interact with you, it's the coolest. And you'll get to meet some of the neatest people that way. I, I, I well, for me, I guess, I, I didn't really think I would be good in front of a camera, and I really probably am still not, but I'm just myself, and I don't know, it's kind of like having a girlfriend over for coffee or wine or tea. It's, you just talk into that little hole on your phone, and you hope that what you say resonates with people, so totally do it. Just, even if you just say, do like a quick test scope to say, hey, I'm just checking my connection, or something silly. I mean, you know, hey, look at my new wallpaper, whatever, but seriously do it. it it's really fun. And, you know, if you're thinking about um, doing it for your coaching, it's helped a lot. I will say I, I have reached a lot more people than I ever thought I really could um, by tapping away in social media, doing it this way, because this way I get to kind of speak from my heart, and you could too, and, and you get to connect with people who not only think like you, but maybe in similar situations. So I've rambled and coached long enough, so totally do it though seriously and I, and I will follow you and I will watch it and it will be awesome so okay I'm gonna go ahead and get started um, I want to keep this kind of quick because my family is waiting on me speaking of family so day eight we are in the beginning of the second week how exciting is that right and it's Monday and we're happy how crazy is that okay so okay maybe not everyone is happy but you know, I I don't know if you've started seeing that shift yet in your in your gratitude um, from keeping your journal and kind of watching what you think and what you say, but yeah, I I'm really starting to feel more optimistic, more at ease, a whole lot less stressed, and I'm kind of getting better at taking things as they come. Now, does that mean I don't get frustrated? No, <laughs> no, I'm, I still get frustrated, but you know what? It's okay. It's a process, right? I mean, we talked about, I think, what was that today? That this is all just a process and we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for progress, right? So, gosh, today, let me think. It was, today was kind of an, a, an atypical Monday for me. I mean, yes, I had to go to my day job and sit there for eight hours and, pretend to enjoy what I was doing, but in terms of workload and stress level, with the exception of the uh, Kansas City Royals baseball game, they're in the uh, division series right now in the American League. Other than those last couple of innings, it really wasn't a very stressful day, So, but they made it, so yay, they get to come back here and play the f game five, so I may not be a sports nut, but I love my Royals, so I'm very excited about that, so Hmm, let me think. Gosh, let me start to label off some things I'm grateful for today. I'm thankful that I have a job that I can complain about. I am thankful that I got the opportunity last week to go to Vegas to Ulapalooza. Um, I did a scope yesterday on some of the things I learned from that, so check that out if you haven't already. And all my scopes are on catch.me. Um, so you can always, you don't have to do the 24-hour thing. You can always watch them whenever. Oh, yeah, Kim, definitely, yeah, definitely having some uh, kind of a general idea of what you want to talk about and where you want to go is always really good, but you'll, trust me, it, I'm not going to say it's not your first one, your first periscope isn't ugly, but you'll do fine, I promise. Um, so, yeah, 